Today is uh, September 16th. Um, about to run into a feed store here and pick up some animal supplies, as I always seem to be doing. But I wanted to make a quick video because um, I have had, I've had something on my mind and my heart for a long time. And I can't fill it up in 15 minutes here. So what I'm really doing is I'm, I'm going to make something here and I'm going to ask people to leave a comment in the comment section, which I generally don't do. But I think it's something that kind of needs to be touched on. Um, for a lot of years now, uh, I have been trying to work out my faith, so to speak. And trying to fit my experiences, my life into a into a, 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 a biblical Christian paradigm, right? And I like to think I've had some unique experiences that has forced me to reconsider certain things. And... Um, so this is what I'm. I want to talk about. Um, I've been planning on putting something together with various scriptures and um, maybe some scientific stuff that I can possibly find without all the bells and whistles. I'm not one of these fancy YouTube influencers that has a studio and you know cameras and mics and lighting and all that stuff. But I think I I. This is really, really needed in the cryptic community. Um, people who are curious about these, you know, so-called supernatural creatures that no one tends to believe in, whether it be Dogman or Bigfoot or aliens or whatever. And I, the subject is a little more complicated, I think, than most Christians think. See, here's the problem with, with, with Christians in general. Because the church has been institutionalized and into and divided up into denominations for, you know, the past thousand years or so, everybody seems to fit into a category, right? And in a Christian narrative, the super how the supernatural works is there's only two things in the supernatural realm. You have the angelic and you have the demonic. There's only two things. And anything is either angelic or it's demonic. And anything that we don't seem to stand understand always goes into the demonic realm. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it real simple and just leave, leave a comment after here, after this. See, the demonic realm really falls into two categories. Okay, You have rebellious angels who are sentient entities all of themselves, and then you have what is called demo uh, demonic spirits, meaning disembodied spirits that are um, actually not fallen angels. I, I know this is going to be hard for some people to understand, but demonic spirits are not fallen angels. They are, they are disembodied spirits. Now, where did they come from? What are they from? Well, I can explain that. I'll need some extraneous biblical sources for that, but uh, I can kind of explain that. And so on the angelic side, the angelic side is even a little more strange because in scripture it is alluded to, and there's a little scripture to back it up, that there's, there's angelic forces that have different categories or different tribes or different clans or different whatever you want to call it. Maybe different races in regards that are divided and subdivided into, um, uh, you mean you might even call them races, subdivided into based on uh, job descriptions. Now, this may be this may be a little uh, herit heretical to some people, but it's scriptural and it's true. All right. Uh, there's scripture that, that talks about, you know, uh, you know, where you, they're looking upon a living being and they describe it in a way that seems horrific. <laughs> okay. 
but it's in the heavenly realm. So people need to understand, you got to step out of your church doctrine and step into a biblical doctrine and start looking with things with a different different perspective, right? And um, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying that uh, this is just, this is my perspective based on the things that I have seen and experienced over the years that I had to, and maybe this is one of the reasons I haven't freaked out over some of the things I've experienced. And I'll get kind of personal with it. Uh, I'm going to kind of drag my wife into it. I'm going to drag my family into it a little bit, a little bit of my family history into it. To maybe try to shift some thinking. Now I can't, I'm not going to be able to do this in 15 minutes. And I like to keep my videos under 15 minutes or so. And I'm going to have to, what I'm going to have to do is put together some scriptural sources and some other things. And there's, and there's two books that I want to recommend to people when I do this. I'll show them when I got them. I have one right now in the process of getting another. I'm also probably going to tell you a little bit of where I have come spiritually and where I'm at now. And to be quite honest, the, the church that I'm involved with now has probably had a, a lot of influence on me in that regard. And it's a place I've been only going to for a year. And I realized that it probably wouldn't be a, um, it's not a typical church. And one of the reasons I'm making this, I have just returned from a three-day leadership conference um, that had over 20 churches represented in it. And my pastors were there, and a small group of us from our church were to come along for some leadership training. And... Uh, I guess what I want to tell people is you need to understand something. Our world isn't quite what we have been led to believe. And there are outside forces that bleed over into our world, that have influence on our world. And there are things in this world, in a corporeal form, that are connected to the spiritual in one way or the other, whether you like it or not. And it, it, it may upset some people. But if you are, if you've had your foot in the Bigfoot world, Sasquatch world, Dogman world, Cryptid world, whatever you want to call it, aliens and all that other stuff. And, and if you've been a Christian and you've been trying to reconcile how this stuff can be without, without, uh, falling into that trap that there's only this demonic and angelic this is going to help you okay and and the truth be told in the end everything does kind of fit into the demonic or the or the angelic but it's not quite what you think if that makes any sense so I want to I want to be able to articulate it in a proper way, and maybe I'll break it up into a couple parts. But it's, this has been on my heart and mind for a really long time, and people need to hear this. And it's not going to it is not going to be what you're getting typically. I'm sure that if you type in on YouTube in the search bar, Christian perspective on Bigfoot, you're going to find a lot of stuff. Okay, I don't know if you're going to get what I'm putting out here. And um, am I wrong? Am I right? I don't know. But for me, it seems to go in that direction. I don't have all the answers. I cannot tell you that I have all the answers. I'm going to throw out some things um, that are going to make you, you know, ponder some things. And that's all I'm asking anybody to do is consider some of the words that I'm going to consider some of the ideas I'm going to throw at you. Because it's not all cut and dry. You know, I'm going to leave with this thought. To anybody that watches this, they're going to understand what I'm talking about. If you're familiar with the late Scott Carpenter, okay, um, I used to share emails with him quite often, um, particularly 
many years ago. We would have some exchanges, emails, me asking him questions and so on and so forth. And in one of his videos, he touched on, and, and he doesn't, he doesn't go into details with this, but in one of his emails, I don't know, not emails, but one of his videos, he talks about the, the, the phenomena of being tagged by these beings, being tagged by the Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Sabe, whatever you want to call them. And he said that no matter what he did, he could not get rid of that tag. Right? That, um, that supernatural thing that, that, the, that these, these other otherworldly beings seem to be able to do to mark you that they find you no matter where you're at, right? There's a, there's a video he makes, and he just passes over it. He doesn't elaborate on it. He cannot, he, and he said this, and I remember him saying this, he cannot understand why the, he could not have the tag removed. Once it's on there, it's on there, and there's nothing you can do to get rid of it. Well, I'm going to leave you with something, because he wants to say that, he wanted to say that the Bigfoot were, had a demonic connection, right? If you can get rid of them by rebuking the name of Christ, why can't you get rid of being tagged by using the name of Christ? Because Scripture says that, that, that Christians have all power and all authority over all the works of the enemy. So if being tagged is part of the works of the enemy, rebuking it in the name of Jesus should be able to get rid of that tag real easy. But you can't. And Scott Carpenter never knew why. Because his paradigm didn't change. I'm going to leave you with that thought to give you something to chew on, and I will explain why you can't get rid of that tagging. Um, why you can't get rid of it, at least by using the name of Jesus. I'm going to explain why that why that is. And uh, I don't know if you'll get that anywhere else. And it might cause some waves and some ripples within this, um, what I would call the mental case research community. Because if you're trying to make your name by being a so-called researcher, you're, all you're looking to do is put yourself on, a, on, on the conference circuit. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not for personal understanding and personal knowledge. Like my own journey was about trying to understand things that didn't make sense. And um, so I've come full circle with this. So I just want to impart some of these things, and I think maybe... Give people a, 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 an understanding that you probably have never heard. And maybe a few people have understand. And I did find one person, one person who's written a book, who has gone down a, a path of understanding that puts everything that I've been putting together over the years. And I'll recommend that book and I'll show it when I'm done with this all. So here I am at about the almost the 15 minute mark and please leave a comment. I'm going to leave this video up for, you know, I'll just leave it there. And people if you want me to to expand expand on this a little bit, I am going to do it. I'm just going to need a little time to put it together. So please um just just please go down the, you know, in the comment section and just say, you know, yeah, please do that. All right. So I'm, I got to get into this place before it gets too late till next time.